Hotep Aquarius, welcome to your Lover's Abyss reading for the month of February 2021. I am Cosmic Divine Tarot and Aqua. This here is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith signs. Now, if it resonates with you, then go ahead, hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading new messages for you. Now, Aqua, if this is not your reading, then don't worry about that. Just go ahead and come on back and let me get you a new reading, all right? Okay, now, my darlings, if you would like to donate to my channel, then the link to my cash app as well as my PayPal is in the description box below. And I certainly will appreciate y'all's donations. Uh, let's get into your storms. I mean, your lover's abyss. Sorry, baby. We did Storms of Passion last time. But I want to set this bad boy off with um, the Lover's Oracle Cards 3. Okay? I shuffled a hundred times and I pulled you these. All right? Aqua. The first card you get is Narcissism. Narcissism. Well, my darling, it says manipulation, control, infidelity, uh, disregard boundaries, egocentric, entitlement, selfish, rule breaker. Hmm. The next card you have is rewrite your story, Aqua. Rewrite your story to how you would like it to be. Release, feel peace now. Sleep, subliminals. Mm-hmm. Okay. Also, there is realize your light, Aqua. You have to be healed to attract healed. You are a divine being having a human experience. Okay. Well, my darling, this is telling me that um, you are dealing with a lot of people who were very narcissistic narcissistic okay these people only cared about themselves they didn't care about what you wanted they didn't care about anything else other than what they wanted okay they also were not faithful to you they uh there was a lot of infidelity going on with these people they were very egocentric wanting you to just go ahead and pay attention to them and the things that they wanted okay well my darling, the universe is, is uh, telling you to go ahead. It's time to rewrite your story, okay? Rewrite your story. When we see, we see the pen here as well as the paper, but there's also a heart in the middle, okay? So rewrite your story with love for how you want to receive it, okay? Like the type of love that you want to receive, Aquarius. Rewrite that. Like I keep a journal. It could be uh, a something that you write or it can be like a... a Something that you record, okay? But keep a journal and, you know, tell the universe what it is that you want because you just keep attracting these people who don't give a damn, okay, about you. And Aquarius, you're going to have to realize your light because you are a divine being. You are a star seed. You are a golden child, okay? You're not from this place. Okay, it's like you're from someplace else. And when you come here, you get caught up in these, um, narcissistic people who can see your light even though you cannot okay doesn't matter if you can't see your light but other people can and other people will use it to their advantage my darling now let me go ahead and get you the lover's oracle shuffled a hundred times and you got these once you rewrite your story and realize your light you have a new beginning my darling a new beginning as a golden dove okay like I said you are a golden child you are a star seed okay so it's like you're gonna have a new beginning a new adventure awaits embrace it and live your dreams passionately okay don't do anything haphazard go and live your life the way that you want it to be the way that you dream about it the type of companion that you dream of having my darling here is uh, this person right here that you need to rewrite your story about this type of person that you want to attract in your life. You want them to be 
passionate. You want them to be romantic. You want them to be, uh, you know, loving and affectionate. All the things that you want this person to be, write it down, Aqua, okay? Because then Cupid's arrow can strike. Cupid's arrow can strike and give you the new beginning that you require to have, okay? Now, the last card is uh, this card. It looks like there are people who still want to keep you entangled in their life. You know, narcissistic people, selfish people who don't care about what it is that you want, Aquarius. They want you at their... Uh, their will, their power, their discretion, okay? And it's like, you know, they want to be on top of you, making you do the things that you don't want to do, Aquarius. Now it says power here. Now, even though they want to have this power over you, it says that you ex instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time, Aqua. You have the power to walk away at any time from these people who are narcissistic, only want you to just do what they want you to do and don't give a damn about anything in your life. Now, my darling... We're getting into the dark mirror here. This is the card that I pulled for you. Fragmentation. Okay. This is fragmentation. Sorry if the uh, lighting is off. I got the uh, the curtains open, but there is a thunderstorm out there. And it's like a really bad, gloomy, ugly day. I don't like it at all. <laughs> but anyway. Fragmentation, Aqua. Okay. It's like... um. That's what you've been getting from people, okay? You've been getting fragmented parts of them. You haven't been getting a whole person to give you their whole heart, their whole soul, their whole attention, their whole self. Although, Aquarius, you are giving your whole self, okay? You're giving your whole self to these people who are not giving it back to you. So this is a very important card, my darling, when you rewrite your story. Be sure to write a person who is not fragmented, a person who is going to open up their heart, open up their soul and make you feel the type of vibration that you need from this person. And not just somebody who's going to talk about it, but somebody who's going to be about it. OK, you need people who are going to show you action, not words, Aqua. You've been caught up in these people's words and the things that they've been saying to you and how they've been saying that they're going to present themselves in your life. Here's the Oroya Dark Terror. They've been telling you all types of things that they've been saying that they're going to be this type of mate for you or you're going to live this type of life or that you guys are going to be together, Aqua. But those are just words, baby. Those are just words. And that's what that fragmentation comes in because words are just that. There is no action behind these words, okay? So when you rewrite your story, put somebody in there that is going to be doing some type of action towards you, that is going to be with you Aquarius not somebody just want to talk to you because you know maybe they want to have phone sex or maybe they just want to uh you know listen to the way you sound or maybe they just want to you know drain your energy Aqua they're energy vampires baby a narcissistic person is an energy vampire okay so it's like you you have to stop feeding them your chalices baby it's time to stop feeding them your chalices and give them back, uh, you know, everything that they said that they're going to do for you. Say you don't want it. You don't want these people's uh, uh, false love because they ain't really giving you any love. You don't want these people's false, um, the things that they're telling you, like the false, like you're going to be in my life. You don't want these people's false dreams. You don't want these people to be leading you on, Aqua, just so that they can drain you from your energy. That's what you don't want. You want these people to be whole like you. You want these people to have chalices that they're trying to pour on you like you're pouring on them, baby. That's what you want. That's what you need. And that's what you have to write in this uh, in this uh, journal of yours. Just write a story, baby. Write your story, okay? And how you want it to be. Let's see. Yes, here is the, uh, the empress right here. Okay, because that's who you are, Aqua. 
You are an empress. You are an emperor. And you are sitting on your throne. And the universe is at your discretion, baby. It's at your discretion right now. You tell the universe what you want. And then watch it manifest for you. Watch it manifest for you. Watch the type of person that you've been dreaming about manifest for you. You just sit back and watch, Aquarius, okay? You don't got to do much, baby. The let, you just, just let the universe do it for you. Let the universe do it for you. Here we got the, um, the three of wands. Like I said, sit back and wait. This is uh, you sitting back and waiting and watching and seeing how the universe is going to manifest for you. The only thing that you have to do, baby, is stop putting in so much effort because the Three of Wands is also my effort card. Stop putting in so much effort to people who is not doing it for you. It's time to cut these people off, baby. It's time to cut these people off and watch the universe give you what it is that you want. Because these people are driving you crazy. They're driving you crazy. They're not giving you back what it is that you're giving them. They just aren't. And Aquarius, they don't have it to give back. They don't have it to give back, okay? Because you are the star. They're not the star. Here's the hangman right here. These people riding on their uh their ego, riding on other people being... um unfaithful to you okay these people it's like it's like this thing that this thing this woman or this person is riding on this beast that is riding on is something that they are feeding your energy whenever you give it to them baby there is somewhere that that energy has to go some type of uh being that has to be eating your energy up this is their lower self baby their lower self that is feasting off of all the effort all the love all the affection all the time that you're giving these people, okay? These people, what's this? Yeah, hang back. Have you all hanged up? Like, you know, have you all, like, you don't deserve any type of love. That's the uh, tarot of sexual magic. You know what I'm saying? Aqua. <sighs> Apologies, my darling. I get a little bit uh, passionate about my Aquarius, you know? Like I'm an I'm an Aquarius myself. I mean, January twenty fourth, baby. It's like, and I'm feeling like uh, you know, like some type of way right now. You know, I've been talking to my Aquas on the phone, giving personal readings, and it's like, you know, I'm, I'm hearing the things that y'all are going through, and I'm feeling like, man, that's some that's some BS right there. That's some BS. How people keep trying to come back into your life or come into your life and just feast off of you because you have these huge chalices to pour onto them. You know, a good way of uh, not pouring all of these, all of the chalices that you have onto them is to pour it onto the world, baby. Pour it onto the world, like write a novel, like um, open up a YouTube channel, become a tarot card reader or something, like give your love that you have to the world, not just to one person. You know what I'm saying? Because that one person is in no way in hell going to be able to give it back to you. You have just a little bit too much. Just a, a lot bit too much, Aqua. <laughs> okay? It's just it's too much. These people can't give it back to you because there ain't no way in hell they can do it. Not unless you're attracting another Aquarius. Another star seed, baby. Here we go. Here we go. The night of... Uh, no, the nine. The nine of swords. Okay. You are the empress, Aquarius. Like I said, you're the empress. You are the emperor. All right. You deserve somebody who is going to be there presently with you, keeping you up all night, baby. Okay. That's what you deserve. You're sitting on your throne here by yourself. You need somebody who is going to be on the throne or they have their own throne to contribute okay you need somebody who is going to be uh kissing all on your neck breathing all on the back of your neck you know pulling your panties down rubbing all over your body aquarius you need that you sitting up here dealing with people who are doing that to other people they're not doing that for you they're doing that for other people and it's like you deserve love baby you deserve love here we got the um the four of chalices these people looking at other people or only focused on their ego or not looking at you. You standing here looking so beautiful, Aqua. 
Look at you. You look absolutely beautiful. And look at this person right here. You see how unattractive this person is right here? This person right here is not keeping themselves up. They're not doing their hair. They're not having all types of beautiful things on. You sitting up here with your gloves on. You sitting up here with your hair done. Beautiful dress. Beautiful jewelry. Okay? And these people coming at you who you've been attracting. Uh, not even halfway stepping up to the plate. Okay? Nah, baby. No, you need somebody who is not going to be this for of chalices holding back love from you. Mm -mm. Here, yes, this is what you need. This is what you need, Aqua. Eight of Wands, baby. Eight of Wands. Somebody who knows how to communicate to you passionately. Somebody who's sitting up there feeding you all types of love, all types of affection, all types of energy that you need aqua okay you need this because you have been without this type of lover even if you have a lover in your life this person is like this aqua this person is like this all beat it up like a bum okay while you're dressed like a empress somebody needs to come towards you like an emperor they feed you and you will feed them back too aquarius because that's just who you are baby that's just who you are but you've been attracting people. Looks like this person off the daggone streets right here. Look like they don't even, you know, have anything to offer you, baby. And then they don't have the audacity to even be paying you attention while you're standing there looking like that. While you're standing there sounding like that. Mm -mm. Nah, baby. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Aquarius, that is unacceptable. My love, that is unacceptable. No. Mm -mm. Here we go. Here is the justice card here. Yeah, you're going to just sit here and wait for the universe to balance this out. And the only way the universe can balance this out is if you stop putting forth so much effort into these people, Aqua. What are you dressed up looking all beautiful and everything for somebody who ain't halfway doing that for you? You dressed up and that dressed up there is your attitude too, your demeanor, uh, your disposition, everything about you, Aqua. You are sitting up there putting forth all this effort, sitting there waiting for somebody to give it back to you. And these people can't do it, baby, because they don't have it. They are not the star you are. Okay, so here's the justice card here. The justice is the universe balancing this whole thing out. Balancing your relationship that you need, okay? And utilizing this sword, cutting these bums out of your life, Aqua. Cutting these energy vampires out of your life. And when the universe does it, Aquarius, because it has done it. It has done it time and time again. But you, being the Aquarius... <laughs> Being the water bearer, being the compassionate one, always allow these type of beings back into your life, okay? Always, you know, fall for some type of sob story or them telling you that they care about you or that they love you. But when it comes time to show something like that, people fall short. I don't know why these cards are not doing what I want them to do. <laughs> Hold on, baby. People falling short. People not doing what the heck they said they're going to do because they don't have it to do. That's why they're not doing it, Aquarius, because they don't have it to do. Okay, this one. All right. Okay, here is the uh, here's the Eight of Swords, baby. Eight of Swords. When it's time for you to manifest this beautiful, loving relationship, okay, by you communicating, because the swords are communication, by you writing it or keeping a, um, a recorded journal, okay, uh, by you doing that, my darling, you manifest this person right here to lay you out on the couch, okay, lay you on the floor, booty, butt, neck, and start making the passionate love to you that you need being done to you, Aquarius, feeling all over your body, all over your breasts, all over your legs, your butt right here, okay, all over your back right here, because we're talking about the male Aquarius too, okay, don't be looking back to these people, I'm going to keep pulling this card, Aqua, because this is who you are attracting, okay, this is who you are attracting, a narcissistic person, don't be looking back at this person, looking at you being all jealous and upset. 
You looking at this person like you looking at back here at this devil energy, this energy vampire, this narc right here. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that because then the uh the universe, your ancestors, the deity that you worship cannot just cannot bring justice to uh your situation. This person will then manifest back into your life as the lovers here. There are two people. Okay, you deserve a mistress spanks a lot. Okay, that's what you deserve, baby. Somebody who's going to come into your life and just do themselves up like you do yourself up. Somebody who is going to be, um, you know, making themselves smell good, looking at you and with you. Not somebody all balled up in their feelings because they can't feast off the Aquarius no more. Okay, they just got to be balled up in their feelings, baby. But the only reason how... The only way this person can come back on the scene is if you keep looking at them, paying attention to them, giving effort to them. The universe wants to give you what it is that you deserve, baby. Your ancestors, they want to give you what you deserve, Aquarius. You've been dealing with these daggone losers for too daggone long, baby. People are not even giving you halfway the effort that you've given them. Because they can't. I keep saying that. That's something that you need to know, Aquarius. They cannot do it. Because they're not you. Here is the Grim Reaper right here, baby. Grim Reaper, them daggone people. These people who is feeding their lower selves on the energy and the effort that you're giving them. Okay? Giving this whole area some type of light. You see this light in the back here? Looks like she got some type of light about to cover her up, okay? That is your energy. That is your energy so they can feed their higher and lower self. It's time to Grim Reaper, baby. Oh, it's time to Grim Reaper. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. It is time to get rid of these type of people in your life, Aquarius, so that you can get the love of your life. The people, I mean, you've been, you've been really wasting a lot of time here, Aqua. Look, look at this. We got the, uh, the Knight of Pentacles here, okay? You've been wasting a lot of time getting these little small, uh, breadcrumbs from these people who you've been attracting in your life, baby. They've been moving too damn slow to give you what it is that you need them to give you. Acting as if they're this, uh, <clears throat> knight in shiny armor on this horse right here because they see an empress. <clears throat> Because they see an empress, okay? And then you just accept this little small offer that they give you, Aquarius. Mm. Grim Reaper. Time to Grim Reaper, baby. Here we go. These people, yeah, they're just going to have to remember Aqua. They're going to have to remember you and remember the type of love and the effort and the time that you gave them. That's all they can, that's all they can do right now. They can sit up here, you know, six of uh, chalices, you looking at you, looking at your pictures and remembering how, you know, they wanted to be in your life, but they just couldn't produce themselves in your life. Okay, they just couldn't do it, Aqua. And it's time for you to get what you deserve, baby. Just keep wasting your time. No, it is over, Aquarius. Now, the Empress here is all the signs. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You are attracting all of these people who are not giving you what it is that you deserve, baby. And you will not, you will not get what you deserve as long as you keep dealing with them. As long as you keep dealing with them, taking pity because you want to uh, dress this person up. You want to make this person your emperor. They have to already be that, Aqua. They have to already be that. If they're not already that, then you are not going to get this, baby. Okay? You have the power to walk away from these people. You instinctively know. Your ancestors, the universe, the deity that you worship is telling you, to walk away from these people. Sit on your throne alone. Not let people sit on your throne. You're there by yourself as the center. And you are pulling in light images from around you. From out of the darkness. You're going to pull this person. Okay? You're going to manifest this person. This lover that's going to be in your life. 
that's going to give you a balanced offer, baby, that you've been waiting on all this time, Aqua, but you haven't been able to get. But now it's time for you to do it. It's time right now, baby, right now. Okay? Now, Aquarius, if this has been your reading, then hit that like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading new messages for you, Aqua. And if this is not your message, then don't worry about that because you and already uh, did all this and you and already got the love of your life and you cool right now. Because that's the only way this is not your message, baby. <laughs> okay, Aqua. Peace, love, and light. How's that, baby?